Hi guys, it's Marty here from letsbuildwp.com and in this video we're going to be covering how to add a WordPress site to the Google Webmaster Tools or the Google Search Console depending on what you prefer to call it. Google Webmaster Tools will allow us to do things like analyze clicks from Google Search, get alerts for critical errors or issues on our site and test whether or not Google can successfully understand our content. It'll also show us a bunch of other stuff as well, but these three things alone are super important and especially if we're trying to rank well in the Google searches. So in order to get this information, we first need to create a Google Webmaster Tools account and then link it with our WordPress site. So if you're ready to get started, that's what we're about to cover right now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is just create an account with Google Webmaster Tools by going to google.com forward slash webmasters. Here we can click sign in in the top right and then click the start now button and sign in with our normal Google account. Then it's going to ask us for our site URL and for this I recommend opening up the site in a new tab, visiting the home page and then copying the URL directly from the address bar. Then we can just head back to Google and paste it into this box. The reason I recommend copying and pasting it is because underneath it says use the exact address of your property. So just to make sure we get it correct, we can copy and paste it. Then we can click add property underneath and then it's going to ask us what method we'd like to use to verify our site. And for this we're going to use the HTML tag. So we need to copy and paste this tag into what's known as the head section of our site. To do this involves editing the main code that makes up our site and it's a pretty risky thing to do if we're just getting started. So instead we're going to use a free plugin called Insert Headers and Footers. So we just need to head over to our site in a new tab, visit our dashboard, hover over plugins on our left dashboard menu and then click Add New. Now in the search bar we're going to type insert headers and footers. Now we can simply install and activate the plugin by WP Beginner. And then once it's activated we can hover over where it says settings in our left dashboard menu and click insert headers and footers. Then once we've got this window open we can head back over to Google Webmaster Tools and we're going to highlight everything that's in this box, right click and copy. Then if we head back over to our WordPress site, we can paste it into this first box labeled scripts in header. Then we're just going to click save underneath and this should be our WordPress site now linked with our Google Webmaster Tools account. To double check everything's working okay, we can head back over to Google Webmaster Tools and simply click the verify button underneath. It's then hopefully going to come up and say ownership verified and we can then click go to property. As you can see it says processing data, please check again in a few days. So we're not going to see any stats here right away, but if we check back in a few days, we should see some useful information we can use to improve our site's rankings. There are too many things to cover in this quick video, but I'll link to another video in the description below, which will show you a few awesome things we can do with the Google Webmaster Tools. So that's how we can add our WordPress site to the Google Webmaster Tools or Google Search Console. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a like here on YouTube to show your support and consider subscribing to the channel for more WordPress tutorials published every week. Then finally, just before we finish, I published another video a short while back that I think you might find useful. It covers how to set up Google Analytics on WordPress. This is going to help us understand what's happening on our site even more. I'll link the video on screen now if you want to check it out. It's basically the same process as this, only for Google Analytics instead of the Webmaster Tools. Once again, my name's Marty from letsbuildwp.com and thank you very much for watching my video.